like I'm not a big believer today in generative AI creating marketing content, marketing communication. I am a big believer in leveraging generative AI for, to refine, to evolve, um, to generate new concepts. But ultimately, I, I don't think the human marketer, just like humans in other areas of important functions, are going to go away because of generative AI. I just think um, it's an important uh, assistant to do some of the things that you can't do by yourself as well, which is di getting different perspectives, getting different approaches, different ideas. And so I use generative AI probably the most for that and, and across marketing functions today. Yeah, I found it's um, one of the funny things that I notice is like the overuse of like very like specific words that are like, like a little bit too like almost like highbrow sounding and um, it's funny because I, I I saw that early on when I was experimenting with the tool and like now I'll notice it sometimes in other people's content and I think it speaks to your point of authenticity like you know n no one's really going to be using those words in something that they're trying to like again cut across the noise and connect with the people on the other end right And they've got some good templates, one of which is like, you know, uh, explain this to a third grader or a, a second grader. And that's helpful also. But it, at the same time, it still loses that aspect of uniqueness and authenticity because it is a pretty canned approach. And, and that might evolve over time, but that's the way the state of generative AI today.